Hey, welcome, it's Meredith. I am here with our message for Friday, May 29th, 2020. We're using Deviant Moon Tarot for our message today. Two cards from the bottom of the deck for us. The first is the sun. <laughs> good, really good. Happiest card in tarot right there. Bliss, love, joy, connection, unity brilliant clarity and that's what I feel is the standout message on this card today brilliant clarity coming with the Sun <laughs> the tower how pleasant <laughs> and look at this is that a moonbeam is that some sort of quantum ray from the universe taking down the tower for us brilliant clarity in the sun with the tower. It feels as though with these two cards together, it's easy for us to see what's in the debris field of the tower. Hmm. You know, we've seen it in recent weeks and each time we've seen it, I have felt intuitively that we're much more involved with the taking down of the tower than we are in the shock and awe of it just happening because we left something too long in procrastination so the universe took care of it for us. I'm not feeling like things really happen that way for us in recent months. I feel that we've got a nice heavy hand in what's going on in these cards and I also feel a strong sense of personal responsibility there. Having the ability to look with brilliant clarity what's in the at what's in the debris field of our tower experiences and we revisit this over and over again to give ourselves contrast which then gives us perspective which then allows us to choose with discernment and strength yeah let's see what that's connected to our first card <laughs> Page of Swords. You know, I see this little page, as I do see most pages, as scouts bringing messages for us. And I feel most especially when we get the Page of Swords, this is the one who has scouted ahead for us and returned with a message. And the Page of Swords has a keen eye. My feeling here is you have the brilliant clarity of the sun, you have this quantum ray shining on the tower, and you have that same kind of ray coming through the left eye of the Page of Swords. What are we looking at? What are we putting our focus on? I also feel the message persists, or rather the question persists recently of first and foremost, what have I not considered and what brilliant clarity will occur to me as I ask that question? I also feel so connected to where are we investing our energies? Where are we bringing our beautiful, soulful self? How are we contributing? How are we participating? Does it add to our happiness? Does it add to the atmosphere? Does it add to our atmosphere of happiness in the brilliant clarity of the sun? Or are we investing in tower experiences either way we're gonna have a great takeaway we're gonna learn something fantastic and fabulous and it feels as though we're treading into those lands we're scouting that out for ourselves because we've also had a consistent message of the strength of our foundation which means that we have the ability to take a look at these things that may feel a bit tenuous to us. We may wonder, we may ponder and contemplate, you know, is my energy investment wise here? Just exactly how much of myself am I offering to this environment, to these people, to these connections, these exchanges of cups? We've seen a lot of the two of cups recently too. And, you know, is there reciprocity within the exchange of energy or am I giving to a void? The sun is going to show that to us in the debris field of the, of the tower. We're going to focus in on it with a laser-like eye and 
and the Hierophant. How perfect is that? Oh, a card about tradition. <clears throat> Pardon, some repetition too. Belief system. Challenging our beliefs. Again, that question, what have I not considered? You know, have I considered that some of the things that I participate in, the things that I do and say, I've learned by rote from my peers and my elders all life long? And are they serving my foundation of happiness? And if, if they're not, this is the opportunity to make the change. It doesn't have to be dramatic and shock and awe like you see here with the tower. You know, most, most times when anyone turns over the tower, there's a cringe and a gasp over that card. It's simply an opportunity. It may be an uncomfortable opportunity. It might not be so pleasant to ask those questions to ourselves if we're really going to listen to the truth of what's in our spirit and in our soul because that's going to require us to make change to continue to strengthen the foundation which then keeps us in that beautiful infinity loop of integrity and harmony within self-relationship and <clears throat> in turn, integrity and harmony with all of our other relationships, connections. In addition to that, we've had a beautiful infinity loop type of energy with manifestation lately. So if we're out of integrity, if we are out of harmony, if we are donating our precious life force energy to a sucking void of energy, that is going to produce a tower moment. The beautiful thing about that is it happens under the light of the sun, which is going to neutralize some of it. So it's <laughs> less shock, less awe, less emotional pain and drama and more, oh my gosh, I really do see that I'm doing this. I get to challenge this within myself now and I get to shift the frequency of it. Let's see what comes next. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You won't be able to tell yourself any lies about it either, which means no justifying. Well, you know, <laughs> I'm doing it this way because, uh-uh, not going to happen with the high priestess on the table. She is going to whisper the intuitive truth endlessly, and we will not be able to squirm out of that. We will not be able to tell ourselves any tales that justify what, that justifies what comes out of the tower. And once seen, take a look at this beautiful laser eye on the page of swords. Once seen, we can't ignore it. So we'll continue to question it. And as I tell you, you know, when we turn over our sweet, simple yes in angel answers, the one without the exclamation point, that's the steady voice of our intuition that comes from the high priestess, our inner oracle. It will not let us down and it will not let us go so we will eventually come round to peace harmony integrity with all of these energies in brilliant clarity in brilliant intuitive clarity as well <laughs> the high priestess with the moon okay so let's push repeat <laughs> let's push replay right so this is universal intuitive wisdom and well, so too is the High Priestess, though like the Page of Swords, this feels more earthly to me in the thought realm, as does the High Priestess here in this particular lineup. And because she is accompanied by the moon, and mind you, we've got the moon and the sun in the reading, so there's some beautiful balance and harmony right there. I feel that she represents our inner self-awareness. So too does this Page of Swords which is why we're able to look at intuitively and with our own earthly inner eye at the Hierophant, belief system, programming, challenging that. What am I doing? Why am I doing it? How am I investing? Why am I investing? Am I investing wisely? Hmm. You will not be able to let yourself off the hook of truth. Once you ask these questions, once these things are revealed to you in the debris field of the tower, that kind of brilliant clarity can't be ignored. It cannot be justified away. It's going to stick with us. Coming with this. Yeah, interesting. The Six of Pentacles. You know, this is a card about generosity and reciprocity. <laughs> I did say earlier on, are we... Are we uh, participating in 
energy exchanges that are reciprocal, fair, balanced, harmonious, right? And here we are with the Six of Pentacles, a card all about that. And what I'm seeing intuitively, intuitively here as I look at this card is there are times when we overindulge energetically and times when we starve ourselves energetically. And I have a sense that under the brilliant clarity of the sun, we will see within the debris field of the tower where we overindulge the ego and how that starves us, robs us of our joy, belief system programming. And we don't challenge these things. and We don't shift them, change them, upgrade them until we get some laser focus around it. And what I sense in the energy atmosphere of the day is once we spot it, we're going to be on it. It's going to be, it may be uncomfortable for some of us. We may not want to deal with this, but when it comes to our foundation of happiness, we must give it our attention. We must upgrade the frequency and then we move on and we live in that beautiful flow that we've been seeing in the cards with the 10 of cups, the two of cups, the lovers, the 10 of coins, the ace of cups, so on. We see those cards in repetition so often, and recently we've seen the star and the magician quite frequently, and the king of pentacles, all leading to participation in this beautiful flow of manifestation we've got going on. So we are continuing to take a look at the things that will potentially rob us of our joy and our happiness. What's beautiful about that, and in this alignment of cards, I feel that there's less drama attached to that. I spoke with a a really good soul today, a dear friend. And this person said to me, you know, the first thing you can do is recognize it and look at it, see it. And you've done that. That is 90% of the challenge right there. So seeing it, you can't unsee it. You have to face it and then harmonize it. And it's worth doing. All right. Remember, these cards come up because we have the strength to navigate these energies. There need not be drama around it. And even if there is drama, embrace that too and say, thank you for showing up. I love you. I don't need to indulge this though. <laughs> so we're going to upgrade that frequency too. Okay. Angel answers, questions, inquiries, confirmations. What do we have? I love that this card keeps coming for us. Take action. Keep going. Don't quit. Don't stop. You're on the right track. Yes. Next. <laughs> well, I love that. We get the emphatic yes. That to me feels like our guides and angels cheering us on. You know, like a cheer squad right there. Yeah, you got this. You can do this. <laughs> Next. Oh, how perfect. This is confirmation within this set of cards. Don't stop. Emphatically, don't stop taking action. Yes, keep going. Too many? <laughs> yeah. I just saw Let Go fly by in the shuffle. And another beautiful repeat for us. Remain positive. Yes, even though what you see in the tower may feel uncomfortable, it's no reason to surrender your positive energy. Just keep bringing it. Okay, affirmation for the day, beautiful souls. What do we have? That was yesterday's card. Oops. <gasps> oh, it's my favorite. It's my absolute favorite in this deck. <laughs> I create mindful moments throughout the day, reminding myself that I am love and miracles are natural. Yeah, you are a natural miracle. <laughs> Spirit animal, this is for you to investigate in the day. We have mouse. So check it out. What does mouse spirit have to say to you today? 
Thank you, as always, so much for watching. Peace, love, joy, blessings, happiness, laughter, silliness, playfulness. Namaste. Bye for now.